All right, so let's check out this Kamuri handheld PC. So I've been using this for about a week now as my work computer. And I have to say it's actually pretty cool how well it works. Now there are a few different caveats with this thing. It only has HDMI ports, no display port, but for some reason it does come with a VGA. Then it also has four USB type A ports, three right here on this side, and then one right here. There is no USB type C ports. Now it does come in a few different flavors. Now this is the GK3 Plus. All right, and it has 16 gigabytes, and I believe this is the N95. Yeah, this is the other like N95. You can get it with actually better processors than that as well. But this one came with 512 gigabytes of storage and at 16 gigabytes of RAM, and that you can also change up as well. But what's really cool is how easy it is to actually upgrade this thing. So if you were to get one with less than 512 gigabytes, you can actually pretty easily update it. All you have to do is unscrew one screw right here. Yeah. One screw right there and then unlock it. And you actually have a port right here where you can put in a, another hard drive where I'm gonna actually install an SSD. So everything that this comes with is you get the computer itself, you get the user manual, you get it, you actually get an HDMI cable, some extra screws, the extra screws is because it has a mounting bracket that it comes with and then it also comes with your power cable. And the power cable that it comes with is just a barrel connector, so very easy to replace. This whole thing is actually super easy to replace. I like that it comes with the um, rubber feet at the bottom, but I'm actually gonna go ahead and install this SSD in it right now, where we're gonna have an extra terabyte of storage and it can actually play a lot of like low end games or if you were to do like a emulator or anything like that. So we have a one terabyte drive right here. That's what some of these screws were for actually was for you to be able to install the SSD. Um, and if you actually remove this plate here for the hard drive for the extra hard drive, um, I would have to look in to like what the specs are exactly, but you can actually very easily, um, depending on what kind of RAM uh, this takes, depending on what flavor you got, whether that's in 97 or in uh, 105, how much RAM those can take. But on mine, you actually have access to the RAM and the SSD that comes pre-installed. So you could actually easily replace both of these as well or upgrade them depending on how you want. Like for instance, if this SSD wasn't fast enough for you and you wanted a faster SSD, you could swap it out. Obviously you'd have to copy it. Same with if this actually supports more RAM, which I would have to look into, I could upgrade from 16 gigabits of RAM to 32 very, very easily because I have access to all of that. But let's go ahead and get uh, this new hard drive installed, which, like I said, is super easy to do. So I don't have to actually use these extra screws that it comes with if I don't want to, but I'm going to. Now, why would you want to upgrade the storage on this? Well, you could use this as a Plex server, an image server. You could use this as a, you know, an entertainment PC or just as storage. Like you don't have to use this, which are all things that you don't need like top of the line computers for, but just how easy it was, it is for me to upgrade this with a one terabyte hard drive. And just like that, I have this thing now upgraded 
Now I'm going to get this hooked up to my monitor here and kind of show you guys how it all can work out. All right, so as you can see, we have the uh, mini computer here, the computer mini computer here, all set up. Let's go ahead and get signed in here. All right, so we are signed in to the computer. All right, so you can see we even have our new drive installed right here. We had to go to the disk utility management to get this set up so you could see this. But you have our two drives. You can see right here, 475, and then this is one terabyte. I guess 50 gigs is going to something else. But you can see how this works. You can even see that I have a few games from Steam and some other few games kind of installed on here. It does work with this controller. I have a wireless mouse. We are using two dongles for that, though, for the mouse and the keyboard right here. You can see here. And it's like you might be wondering why someone might want a small little computer like this. And it's for stuff like, like this. So you could have a backup computer. You could have something to um, put tons of media on so that you could have it yourself, right? There's all kinds of reasons why someone would want a smaller computer like this. But let's go ahead and kind of see. Um, I was able to play Rocket League earlier. Let's check one of these games out i mean as you can see i'm playing rocket league i'm just on the casual kind of open play like that doesn't mean i'm very good <laughs> but it does seem to be handling it just fine My overall conclusion for this, I really like uh, using it. I like that it's the footprint is super small and that you can easily upgrade uh, certain things to it with the 16 gigabytes RAM. I think that's kind of standard these days. And then just being able to have a really small computer that you could use as like a Plex server. You could use this as um, a streaming device on your for your living room. You could use this as like a mini gaming PC, especially a lot of emulators and stuff. You're not going to be doing any like big hardcore gaming on this, by not by any means, but just like simple games, easy games, and then just casual computer usage. Uh, something like this is perfect.